And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Grandia. I'm your host, Nick Legato. So, I, put, I re put the axe back on Al Anna, Justin, just because. But we'll find out more about that later. Alright, so now we need to go find a ferryman. I am ready for a long duration today. I freaking got brought up some beer. And I'm weird. I drink beer at room temperature. That's just me. I think Europe kind of ruined me in that regard. <laughs> I'm drinking beer at room temperature, so, but I'm, I'm loaded. Got me four tall cans. We're ready to roll for a while. I've got 12 more downstairs. All right, so we need to find the boatman. Here, it must be him. Oh, God. She's wooing over him like three fat people who like to do lots and lots of drugs. <laughs> As we now head to the Twin Towers. Are we in New York? Yeah, no, come I had to say something. Come on, give me a break. You don't say. You don't say. So, you know, this is this area is pretty large. It's probably the largest, I want to say the largest dungeon we've been to since we started playing. So, it is something to be weary of. There are, you know, some horrifying things that might jump out at us and try to, well, I don't know, murder us a little bit. But first and foremost, we grab us some two golds, and then we just want to head north. As you can see, there's no enemies around, so, eh, it's not like we care. As we head to the this next area, Okay, so, now that we're here, this place starts to get a little bit more complicated. Oh, shit. Yes, they're very tricky. <laughs> they can be. Interesting. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> so first thing we want to do is, well, let's take a look here. We want to get into there, but we really can't at the moment. So, let's go this way. And we're walking. You notice we haven't run into any enemies yet, though. And this will lead us to a new area. So really, the whole thing with this zone is that there's, it's a big, 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 big area. And there's lots of enemies on lots of, you know, different sections. And this is just the outside. We're not even inside yet. So be weary that this is going to be a long and daunting trek for us here. Uh, but it's not going to stop me from throwing out spells left and right to level up the old, you know, skill tree here. As you can see, is uh, tremor. Vina's pretty good with magic right now, so we're gonna just continue to use those her knife attacks, unless we really, you know, need to level up something. But I think for the moment, her levels are pretty good, though we can continue to keep using her. I'm not gonna say we're gonna stop, but definitely don't need to make her the focus of this. Oh my god, Sue totally got in the way there. Okay, well we don't want to get hit by life drain, so let's see if we can get Gadwin up there and stop him. There we go. Oh, he... Ah. Kill him with fire! And clubbing and other sorts of damage dealing skills. There we go. And the day is won! As you can see, they're not too tough. They're just, they can be a little bit of a handful, though, if you're not prepared. But, uh, we did really good. I'm really happy with that. Let's go fight the one that's right next to that one. Uh, disappeared. That's the other thing I hate about them, though. They disappear and reappear a lot. Alright. So we killed those fools, and as you can see, there's not much we can really do over here, but... We will find this, which is a spellbreaker, which we'll want to make sure we get. And then the luxury of heading back the way we came. Spellbreakers are important in this area as those Medusa-looking things. 
they um, will they can actually spell block you. We have the means to remove magic wise, move remove the move blocking skill, but we don't for magic. So it is something to be aware of, be weary of, because it attack. I think it hits all characters. So you'll want to take out those Medusa-looking bastards as quickly as possible. They're not friendly. They're not user friendly. For any reason, I, I hate them. Uh. Excuse me. All right, so we gotta keep moving here. Then we find a way. Keep moving around and around. As you can see, we still cannot enter the facility yet. We gotta keep going around, in a sense. The zone. No enemies on this side, though, so we lucked out there. So, this will take us to the north area. And. As you can see now, the arrow is rotating in all sorts of directions with an inability to tell us where we need to go, but we have a pretty good idea. This gate is actually open. We kind of get into a small little mazed area. Alright, kill those fools, and we're walking. As our goal is to try to get in the middle of this area that's sometimes easier said than actually done. Okay, we killed that one. We'll head over here and kill us another, which will lead us to some gold. <clears throat> so yeah, we won that one. Excuse me there. Okay, we got us some money. Should be a, another useless item, but it's still an item. Over here, which should be... I don't remember what this is. A health lead. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. So let's go this way here. I think there's another Medusa here, yeah. Just gonna pick a fight with the butt crack. Okay, kill them. Just gonna keep on heading up and around. And we're gonna see a switch here. The switch, obviously, as you can see, moves the statue. Better than that, we get to fight another battle. Okay, kill that fool. Let's take a look at the bird's eye view. Let's see what we can see. We can head east. If I'm not mistaken, the south passage is blocked. So we can't go that way, but we can sure as hell pick a fight. Alright, so we can't do much else here, so let's head this way. If I'm not mistaken, there's like a trap around here or something. No, I see, there's the Medusa. Let's fight you. Okay. Get us some gold. We gotta get across this without getting murdered. Is usually preferable. So we can continue to head up and around. There's a one of the Garlisle tanks there. It appears that he ran over that area. Can I? I don't think I can get through though. Yeah, can't really get through. So let's keep moving. We do see a big ass thing of gold over there. So let's see if we can go get it. As we grab this chest first. Chest. And it's a vacuum scroll. Yeah, no, not using it. Not going to keep it. Not even worth selling. Not even that good of an item. Let's walk this way so we can go here and get the gold. Very, uh, this place isn't hard to navigate. You just have to know that no matter where you're moving, just make sure it's an area you've not seen before. And just follow it around kind of logically just in order to find the treasures and whatnot. And we're walking to fight another Medusa. Okay, so we killed all of them. Let's grab the treasure, which is a revival thing. Uh, not a resurrection potion, per se, but a revival thing. Alright, killed us another Medusa. So let's keep moving. Since all we really can do is just keep heading deeper and deeper and into the maze. Should have been another Medusa somewhere. Oh well, oh, it's over there. Not really a threat, but it's over there. Let's go ahead and press this bad boy. This opens the way to the other side of this area. So, as you can see, I actually erected the block statues for the other direction. So now the only direction we can go is this way. And as you saw, we did see a chest, so we'll make sure we pick that up by 
Doing a big turn here. Yo! Mama! We get a treasure. This is the death charm. Just making sure. This is actually a pretty good item. Um, it's good when you know there's an enemy that can give you. And if anything, if it's an enemy that can give you, make sure you just have a character equipped with it who can defend against instant quote-unquote giving, and you'll be okay. Alright, so we killed that Medusa. Now we gotta go through the trap. That was close. Because we have to fight yet again another Medusa. Okay, let's keep moving. Do 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 do. And we finally reach the entrance. Wait, what is this? That's right, we're the guides, yeah. <laughs> so we now gain access to the area, which is good. Yeah, 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 I heard you. Alright, now we're in the vestibule, so here is a good place. There should be a save point and a stashing place. So let's go ahead and stash some of our items here. We're going to go ahead, I think, and stash you. All of this stuff can... Well, we'll keep one, but I'm not stashing them all. I'm not going to keep them all. Stash the Y metal. Um, well, we'll keep... I want to say we'll keep everything else. Spell breaks. Yeah, we'll keep everything else. We'll go ahead and exploit the safe spot after I use my cheap magic upgrade. Way of upgrading it, you know. It doesn't do a lot. The only three experience per healer. But you know what? That's 12 experience right there. Blow it out your ass. That's not bad. Okay, we're gonna save. Okay, we're all saved. So, now that we've done that, you can talk to these guys if you want for useless and trivia and information. Okay, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. Here we go. What's the matter, Sue? Yeah, really, Sue. What's going on? How's Gadwin gonna hide? The dude's like a mountain. Oh God, it's the three garbanzos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that's exactly how it's gonna go down. <laughs> Gadwin, that's actually the best thing you've said this whole trip! Next to the part where he always knew Fina was a woman. Alright, let's go ahead and head inside this place now that we've gotten the shenanigans out of the way. So we head into the room of... I think it said Temptation. I think there's the extra's passage way over there. It's a dead end. It's a good question. Wouldn't you like to know? I don't think there's many places to hide in here. So, uh, I think we're in trouble. Ah! Oh! Lean, Fina? Walt? Well, at least he admires that we did it all on our own. He's artless and daring. <laughs> I like the last answer. Uh-oh. Nice! Fuck this guy, we got Gadwin, bitch! You're going down, Goldilocks! Fail! 
God, I thought Gadwin, you were the Knight of Dite. Apparently, you just got smite. Did <laughs> by Mullen. Hand over the stone, Justin. No way, Jose. We can beat this guy. Uh-oh. His drawers are starting to glow! Blinded by the light. Holy shit, it's like real magic. I, I know I say that too often, but... That, that show broke me, man, I swear. And Gadwin's down for the count. And we are now apparently in the unknown. Hello, hello! Oh shit. Boom, boom, boom. Uh oh. It's going down. What's going on? Don't believe him! The cake is a lie! Little baby Akarians, da 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 da, have a look around, throw roll murals. Murals? Oh. Those are Akarian wings, huh? Kind of looks like a wine opener, if you ask me, but ooh, look at that! What's that? One spirit stone. Interesting. New Farm's greatest female adventure. Of course we know you. Everybody should know you. Oh, they're twin sisters, huh? Hmm. Double your pleasure, double your fun. A three cents more of fresher wit, double mint gum. Oh, God. That's just weird. All of a sudden, they want to work together. They want to be friends. Well, yeah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. I see. Uh, he's copping a feel. I see him grabbing boobage. I don't like this one bit. You know, they always pretend to be your friend. And then, boom, out of nowhere, it's an evil clown who tries to take your pants off. <laughs> it's the truth, too. Now, let's see. Oh, great. We're in a shitty pit. Oh, shame. Well, not a big deal. We're just going to have to deal with it. This is a good time to save, so we'll recover and we'll go ahead and save. I think this is called the Sin Room. Which explains a lot because it's surrounded by horny toads. Not a joke either. Horn and toad. Horned toad. They're horny toads. <laughs> um, Justin's all by his lonesome, so it's all up to him to fend off the onslaught of enemies. This is the part of the game where I usually recommend that you save back where you did, just in case. You never know. They don't do a large amount of damage, though, but you should always be safe. But... This is a great place, really, to build up some of Justin's skills. Especially if you haven't, because you can always walk back to the save point and recover. So this is a great place to use his, his SP skills. Throw out all the magic you want, because you've got your work cut out. So I'm going to pause the video and uh, make me some dinner, some frog legs for dinner, and uh, I'll show you what it comes to when we're done. Ugh, cleared out the room, finally. We gotta keep heading over to fight yet again another toad. Okay, killed all the frogs there. There's four of them. So four battles with the frogs specifically. Oh <laughs> god. Yeah, she's being chased by some monsters, and why should we care? But apparently we do. Let's go ahead and save Lean.
<laughs> God. This is a premeditated battle, per se. I don't think we're going to show it. It's just three horned toads, so. And thus the battle is won. Over Joe. Oh, come on. Really? I agree with Justin now, what? Uh... Oh boy. Hey, I don't look at that as scary. I look at that as experience. You yeah, god. I'm I'm not so full of pride. Stone's more important than my life or yours? Oh boy. Didn't see that coming. As we're now falling into a pit of shame. Deeper and deeper. This tower sucks. That or it's just very badly, you know. <laughs> Spread out. So what's up with her? I like when Lean's wet, don't you? We fell in the bridge, and you say we're lucky. On the top of the end of the world, this is nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you know, falling is what defines an adventure. The higher the fall and you live, the bigger the adventure was. Well, I guess that makes some sense as well. Further down you fall. I see boobies. Bigger look like an angel with four arms. You don't say. Spirits and the Akarians are able to understand each other. They even say that spirits' energy was fueled. Hamana, 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 yakety, schmackety. More about the spirits and the Akarians. Oops, sorry. Um, some apologies moving around and. Other sweet mysteries of life. Yeah, you know, some of us actually have mad skills. Oh, aren't they just the dandiest group of people? I can tell you're pretty normal after all. your wallet <laughs> they're not asking for my spirit stone back oh you know she's gonna give it back to him or he's gonna steal it one way or the other uh, he made a, I was gonna make a load brow wet joke there but we'll leave that alone so it appears now we've got just Justin, because Lean is too much of a wuss to actually fight in a fight. Because as you can see, we can wander around all of this, but this really doesn't mean anything. So let's head back. Up. Again, we can't rotate the camera either, so it's not like we can really see where we're going. We are going to make our way this way. Wow, that's huge! That's what she said. It's gonna be the biggest day. Uh, I'll leave that to your imagination. It's got four arms. Wow, yeah, really. Yep. Okay. And now we reach the Hall of Murals. Whatever that is, we'll find out. Once we get there. We are now there. 
obviously we cannot rotate the camera still, so we're at the mercy of stage design. These mirrors, why do they draw such sad looking scenes? Yeah, it is pretty sad. Yeah, really, details. Spirit is really awful. These are good points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Government secrets, we know. You can never tell. Now let's keep moving up, shall we? As the floor is lifting me higher and higher. God. What do we got here? What a huge painting. That's what she said. I wonder. It's such a sad painting. Hmm. This is a mural of the fall of ancient Angela. Hmm. You don't say. Is that an Icarian? In fact, that was the greatest era of the ancient Angela civilization. A big eye. Only Icarians can use the spirit stone. It's the eye of the Jew. That was the law of nature. <laughs> My buddy, but humans are good. All my Jewish friends when I need them. And tried to create that prosperity oh. with their own hands. They began to reach for things they shouldn't touch. As a result, just as they reached the height of prosperity, they vanished. The Akarians, too. You don't say. You? Why do you know that? No social life? Good, charming looks. My mother told me. Beer? Yes, my mother was a humanoid. Among the humanoids, hers was a very ancient and gentle race. What's it? My father, General Ball, married my mother in order to obtain the secrets of the ancient Angelo civilization. Oh, and I thought he just liked them wild and beastly under the covers. I love this land that my mother loved. You? There must be something wrong with me, too. Telling this story to you, a complete stranger. It must be because of your eyes. I feel like I'm talking to Lean. Yes, tell us all your life. military secrets. Do, 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 Come, let's go. The exit is at the top of the tower. Oh, boy. That's what I think of your stupid theories. Wow, let's go check out the shiny. To talk to Akarians. Justin, pull your pants back up. <laughs> I'll shut up. Welcome. He who holds the spirit stone. Good talk. He who is guided by the light of the spirit stone and the wings of the Icarians. It's me, Liette. Me, Justin. I've made it this far. Yes, I can feel you very clearly. You have come very close. From where you are, a lent is practically right before your eyes. Liette, show yourself. Tell me where Alent is. Go east, Justin. You, the one who searches for answers. Liette! And thus ends another episode of Wasting Time with the Liette. <laughs> We know we're not in a lens, so what are we supposed to do? Keep going east. And we get the Medal of Wisdom. Uh, 
Well, that sounds pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Oh, God. Somebody tells me we're about to die or get, like, blown, burnt into a huge ball of fire. Holy crap, she spoke a funky language. A funky language, you know, like Funky Town. Somebody, I know somebody's looking at me going, did he just drop the F bomb? Drop the F bomb all the time. <laughs> and we re appear. Yay! Okay. That's right, it's useless. But she still has my stone. Give me your hand, Justin. Huh? But but why? Just do it quickly. Or she changes her mind. No, I. W the spirit stone. Leave. But why? I thought I could sacrifice anything if it was to get a hold of the spirit wrong. stone. But now. I don't know if that was don't right. You feel like a douchebag. So, you hold on to it. I never saw you in the Twin Towers, and I never got the Thanks, Spirit Stone. Sweet cheeks. I get it. Thank you, Lean. <laughs> Say, Justin, tell me one last thing. What does the Spirit Stone mean to you? Free huh? Uh. That's a toughie. Oh, to me, the spirit stone is... I know. The soul of the adventurer. The froth of my beer. The... <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. I was serious. Yeah, sure you were there, champ. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's sort of funny, that's all. I think I finally understand why Fina is with you and why I met you. I will never forget you. And if you do, I'll drop kick your teeth Justin. out. And there she blows. Okay, so we have the option of saving, which is probably a good idea, because we're about to do something a little risque. We could just leave the, the uh, dungeon. Um, there are some things here worth investigating a little further. Let me... Okay, so here's what we want to do. We're in a new area that we've really never been to before. This is the Twin Tower South Courtyard area. What we want to do is we want to kind of head south this way. Excuse me. We are reunited. Sweet. So let's just deal with this. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. So let's keep heading south thinking is, is we'll want to head this way, oh shoot, um, let's see, there should be a chest, I think, in here, yeah, there's, there's actually items here that we've never, you know, gotten before, so we should get them now, as we receive the forest charm, which is something, another thing that, what's up, Mostly I would sell, but there's really one item here that we would waste time even bothering to get. Um, let's keep moving this way. Get us some money. Now we got to backtrack all the way to that little centerpiece. And But this is worth the time, I, I assure you. This is worth the effort and time to, re to wander around here. Because there's one item that I really want to get. I'm a huge fan of it. 
um, for a certain duration of the game, and then eventually it loses its flavor. It loses its value. Um, but it's definitely an item that people miss frequently because they just don't feel like dealing with the maze. And I don't blame them. Mazes suck. You know? So, let's keep moving. As you notice, there's no enemies. But we find some more money. Let's head through the trap. Go. So you notice there's no enemies here, so we're not like it's not like it's, we're in complete danger, really. And in there. And no, I'm not insane. This actually does work. But once I get the item, we'll end the episode, and I'll just walk out of here manually. It's obviously just, it really is just a lot of backtracking. All right, we'll lower that, which obviously blocks our exit, so we can't exit that way now, which is okay. Like I want to go that way anyway. So we're gonna head this way. Is it over here? Yes. This is what we searched long and hard for: the odd hat. The odd hat is an item that. Well, let me show you. It, it negates one thing. It's a little weaker than the, the pirate helm, but it lets you warp during your attack phase. So in other words, all the running around and all the, you know, scenarios and issues that come up with that, imagine just instantly teleporting in front of the enemy and slaying them. It's a very, very, very interesting item. Um, and in my opinion, tactically, it's a very good item to find. But to make sure that you get. So now that we've gotten it, we have to pretty much backtrack out of here. I don't think there's really any more treasure or anything like that. I mean, we can explore the rest of this. But it's just going to be gold, I think, for the most part. Actually, that's a dead end over there. Well, it's not a dead end. But, um... Well, if actually, if we do go all the way around that way, we can re-trigger the thing, the setup, to let us get out of here. So really, in a sense, it's very circular. So, if we go this way, it should lead us to the other head, so we can get out of here. But there should be no more treasure, I don't think. That or we're going to get stuck, which I think is what it looks like it's going to be. Oh no, wait a minute, there's another treasure! There was one more treasure! A bond of trust. Something I could care less about. Okay, so now we do have to backtrack all the way out of here. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Grandia, if you haven't followed this, just backtrack. It's not hard to do, you don't need to watch me do it. So we're going to backtrack out of here, and we're going to continue our journey. We'll see you then.